Hey everyone, it's Chainsaw Gears 12 here, and I'm here to answer your questions. Answering your questions number eight. So I told you guys I'd be doing it a week after I posted that video, which today is now Tuesday. But technically, shh, I'm recording this on Monday. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm recording it on Tuesday. Just got home from school. So anyway, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go by uh, the first questions to the last questions. So from the uh, earliest questions that the video was posted to the last. So if you were one of the last people to post a question, i.e. Gamer Priest uh, 2000, which you posted the last question, then uh, your question will be answered last. That's how it goes. So anyways, let's jump off into answering your questions. And I hope this video won't go off on too long. There's not a lot of people who ask questions, but there's a lot of questions that people did ask, but not a lot of people ask questions, but a lot of questions are asked, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Okay, anyways. So here we go. Maiden Slave, of course, another reviewer said, uh, his first question is top nine Metallica albums, which basically I assume he, he, it was either a joke or he wants me to rate the albums, the nine albums in order. So from nine to one, nine would be Saint Anger, eight would be Reload, seven would be Load, six would be Death Magnetic, five would be the Black Album, four would be Injustice for All, three kill, three kill them all, and uh, two would be Ride the Lightning and one Master of Puppets. So that's how I rate the top nine Metallica albums. Now, your second question is Metallica versus Mustaine. Come on, Metallica. I know you're just trying to troll. Number three is your name, Charlie. And for this instance, yes, it's my name's Charlie because obviously that's my name because that's what you called me in that video when you responded to me uh, hating on music reviewers and you said my name's Charlie, so forever it will be Charlie. <laughs> anyway, Shadowblade9209, a good buddy of mine, I would I would assume, I hope so. Do you like Limb Biscuit? Yes, I love them. They're the best band of all time. Can't wait for the next record. <laughs> yeah, sarcasm. <laughs> Favorite album that isn't rock or metal? Hmm. Oh, that's a hard question. I don't know. Favorite? I don't know, favorite album that isn't rock or metal? I, I don't know. I would have to say one of the Eminem albums. The Eminem show. There you go. Back in the day when I used to listen to rap. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of life? That's your last question. Um, I actually talked about this with a couple of friends a couple of days ago. I think the meaning of life is to live it to the fullest. To be happy and just, you know, have fun while you're here. Because once you're gone, you're gone. That, that's what I think. You just live life to the fullest. Be happy. Just... Do what you can to make yourself and the people you care about happy. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. Okay, XXX Lolicon XXX. Hope I'm saying your name right. It's kind of like a looks like a gamer tag from Xbox. Your first question is your opinion on black metal. Ninety nine percent of it, I don't like it. The occasional, I might listen to a riff here or there, but. Uh, I'm not going to review a black metal album. If that's what you're asking. I, I don't see myself reviewing a black metal album. I know it's a genre of metal that people enjoy, but for me, I, I just don't. I don't enjoy how it's put together. I just, I just don't. It's my opinion. Um, you said I am going to start reviewing any tips. I have recorded one and editing it now. So you're asking for any reviewing tips. I actually did a video about this because someone else did message me and um, asked about what's the best way to start off reviewing. Well. My personal opinion is uh, the basic things that I said in the video and I'll say now. The basic things is to be true to yourself. And what I mean by is that don't give an opinion that you don't believe in. Don't give a, a popular opinion that other people just, you know, agree with. Like if you see other reviewers saying this album's amazing, don't go and say it's amazing. Just because they're saying it's amazing, say what you feel about the album and be honest with yourself. And... And other opinions, don't over-review it. What I mean by is don't review all the time. If, if you constantly put out a review every single day for like five or six months straight, you're going to get so strained, you're going to want to quit because it's that's why I don't do reviews every day. That's why I put out maybe a review a week or maybe less than that. Depending on what albums are coming out, I might put more out or less out, but I, I balance myself. So balance yourself. That's all I can give you is to balance yourself, be true to yourself, and do not give it a opinion or a review that you don't agree with. You're only saying it for the popular opinion. Don't do that because that because that's the that's that's just it's not being true to yourself. That's how I get. That's why I get a lot of hate on some of my reviews because I'm being honest. So that's what it is. Zeppelin Head ninety three. What are you expecting? What are you expecting from the next Metallica album? Very simple. I want Metallica to do what they think is right. I don't want them to put out a thrash album just because people want them to do a thrash album. I don't want them to do a 
Black Album sounding album, like Black Album 2 type thing, just because people are saying it. I want Metallica to do what they think is right for the band. When they went and did Death Magnetic, it was right for the time. If they decide to go down the route of doing another Death Magnetic, which news came out, Lars said that basically the next album is basically where Death Magnetic, Death Magnetic left off, do it. That's all I gotta say. Whatever Metallica feels comfortable, comfortable with, blah, <laughs> whatever they feel comfortable with, I'll be okay with it. That's how I see it. I expect them to be honest and just put out what they want to put out, not what everyone else wants them to put out. I know it's a not a popular opinion, but I want them to do what they think is right. So, 66625 Metal. What are your top five favorite bands of all time? Oh, five, Protest the Hero. Four, Trivium. Three, ooh. Hmm. Um. Man, this is, this is a really hard question. Okay, okay, let, let, scratch it. Let me start that. Restart. Five is um. Yeah, okay. Five would be protest the hero. Four, all that remains. I love that band. That, that's really that's what really got me into more metal. Three trivium. Two between the bear to me. One Metallica. It's the way I see it. So that's why I screwed up there. But yeah. Uh, Music Slayer HQ, favorite moment of 2012, best movie of 2012, and also congrats on 300 subs, thanks. Thanks, man. Uh, favorite moment of 2012, my favorite moment of 2012 was, um, probably the success I was gaining off my channel. It was really, really fun. It wasn't like a, spe a specific moment, but, um, I'd say like that, and maybe, you know, finally finding a relationship that I could be happy with, maybe, maybe, something like that, but, uh. Yeah, a lot of things happen, ups and downs, but I see my favorite moment on YouTube would definitely be the huge success I started getting. Like, my, pe people might say it's not huge success, but I kind of do. Um, best movie 2012, I'd have to say, is uh, The Dark Knight Rises. I mean, Avengers was amazing, don't get me wrong, but, um, sorry, by the way, sorry. The Dark Knight Rises, yeah. Cybernetic Slayer, what's the most enjoyable aspect about reviewing for you? Um, to see the feedback, to see what people's responses to, you know, my, uh, my question that I post to you guys or your opinion on an album I'm reviewing, just the interaction with the people. That's what it is. Um, of course, not the negative part, but the positive and just hearing what people have to say. So that's, um, my most enjoyable aspect is to hear other people's opinions and just, you know, like the whole 300 subs, like congrats and all that stuff. It's just... I like it. It's really cool. What's your biggest pet peeve? Fake people. People that are fake and not real. The whole, that's why I was saying earlier, ask, answering that question about being true to yourself. I hate people that just give a popular opinion, like a reviewing mainly. If I, I, This is not known specifically because I've not really seen it, but I know at some point there's someone that's going to just put out every review is going to be gr good because they're giving a popular opinion or they're trying to go with, with the most popular opinion. Like, this album's bad. Well, they say it's bad. Well, this, they, a lot of people say this album's good. They say it's good. So they get the popular opinion and get the popular vote, and blah, blah, blah. But all in all, not just reviewing, but just fake people in general. I hate it. What is your greatest achievement outside of YouTube? Mm. Going to college. Um, graduating from high school. Um, uh, yeah, you know, just continuing on with my, you know, education, basically, it's kind of cliche, but yeah, I mean, I would say that's it. <clears throat> Peter Donov, what's the worst metal album? Lulu, come on. <laughs> what's your favorite movie? A movie called Tombstone. It's a Western movie about the OK Corral shootout with Wyatt Earp and, um, and his two brothers and Doc Holliday. Great Western. Uh, a lot of people say, Western? What? Like, it's an amazing movie. Go watch it. You, trust me, you want to be disappointed. What's your favorite metal song? Uh, I'd say Master of Puppets. I don't know. I'd say that. What upcoming albums are you most excited about? Except Metallica. <laughs> With a smiley face. Um, I'm excited to see what the... De uh, not the... Not the Devil's Prada. The Black Dolly Murder. See what their next album's going to be. I'm excited to see what Dream Theater's next album is going to be. I'm excited to see what um, Protest the Hero does next. I'm um, excited to see the new what the new Black Sabbath album is going to be like. 
Hope it's good. Um, mm, there's a couple others. Can't really name on top of my head. Oh, I want, I want to see what Trivium does next after End Waves. That's going to be uh, kind of exciting. Which thrash metal band is the best right now? Mm, I don't know what the best thrash thrash metal uh what metal band is right now, but I can name you off some of the uh the elites uh, without naming the big four. Um, I'd have to say uh, Exodus, Exodus, Testament, um, Evil, Silosis. Man, I, I, they need to get more popular. Silosis is amazing, but yeah, I mean they're, they're pretty much um you know. Up there, in my opinion. They're really, really good. Power 69 what's up, man? Uh, opinion on power metal type bands like Blind Guardian, Sonata, Artica, ETC. I don't I don't really listen to power metal. I don't, I don't. I, my opinion is, I know it's a genre of metal a lot of people enjoy. Like I said about black metal earlier, but I'm not really into power metal. I just, I'm just not. What do you think of Nightwish in the whole Annette versus Tarja debate? I don't know what that that's about because I don't. Really, I don't listen to Nightwish. I don't. I don't know what that is. So uh, my opinion on it is uh, stop fighting. I guess I don't know. <laughs> what would your supergroup lineup consist of if you could have one? I've already answered this question kind of before. I made like a weekly mail topic about this. But um, for drums, I'd ha I want to have um, Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater. I'd want to have um, Paul Wagner on lead guitar from Between the Bear to Me. Bass player, I would like to have um, either Steve Harris or have um, Cliff Burton. And um, for rhythm guitar, I would like to have, um, oh, God, what's his name? Oh, I can't, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He's a, he's, um, he's one of the guitarists for uh, the Black Dolly murder. And um, vocalist, I'd either have to go with James Hetfield or, um, oh, God, his name set me again. Oh, man, Rob Halford. So I, I'm sorry, like, oh, my God, he forgot Rob Halford's name. A lot of names work on my head. Sorry about that. Um, Gamer Priest 2000. Last person who asked questions, so this video is about to wind down. Would you say Rush is the most talented rock band to date? I would. I guess debatable. But, you know, Rush put out a lot of good material. Some not so good material. Some people might say. Some people might not say. But I'd say Rush has been the most consistent out of a lot of bands today in rock. So I would say they're they're pretty up there. I'm not. I wouldn't say they're the most talented, but I, that's debatable. You know. It could. Do you like jazz? If so, what is your favorite jazz musician? I don't really like jazz that much, but it's kind of an interesting um, concept and interesting music uh, genre to listen to. But all in all, I'm I'm not into really jazz that much to give you spe specific names. Now, when you were in a rap phase of your life, what kind of rap did you listen to and what singers? Just wondering. When I, uh, If you don't know, I used to listen to rap back in the day. Uh, but um, Eminem... Uh, you know, the guys he was with, um, a lot of people, it's just like a lot of people. Um, yeah, mainly Eminem and that type of stuff, 50 Cent, you know, whoever he was with, whoever she was friends with, I was listening to. I listened to a lot of people, just a lot of people. Like, if anybody who was, like, popular back in 2003 to 2005 or 6, 7, then, yeah, I was probably listening to them at some point. And last question, what was the one Metallica song you liked when you were younger and now to you is no good? Inner Sandman, that is the... That is the easiest question ever. Inner Sandman was so good when I first heard it, and then now it is just, oh, because it's overplayed. I'm not saying it's a bad song. It's just overplayed, and I just I just don't think it's that good because it's way overplayed, and it's just a cliche song people run to about, um, you know, about, uh, you know, liking Metallica because they're Metallica fans because they know Inner Sandman. It's just a... It's just a getaway for people. So, anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for posting your questions. I enjoyed them, and I hope you enjoyed my answers. And, uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. So, uh, I will see you guys soon, hopefully with a review or maybe another question about metal. I'm not sure, but um, I'll probably post a review in a, d a couple days or so. Not a day or so. Um, but, yeah, so there's my answer. So, uh, next time I'll have this is probably going to be in... Um, and another milestone, maybe 400 subs, depending on how long it takes me to get there. But uh, yeah, so that's my answers, guys. Those are my answers, and I'm done rambling. So I'll see you guys soon with hopefully a review or another metal question. So stick around, check out, whatever. <laughs> Bye.